Hello. So, just a couple of things to uh, unmold right now. This mold right here was leftover resin from part of a charcuterie board I'm working on. It was the one that um, previously you saw part of it is the sea and the sand bank. But I was working on the sky and the the glades, the, the grass, the glades. So this was resin left over from that that I poured in there. And that's what I got. I think it's super pretty, actually. And we're going to attempt to unmold this one. When I say attempt, I literally mean attempt. I spend quite a bit of time trying to demold or unmold this. I hurt my fingers. They will probably be bruised. And I even, as you can see, try to use my mold release and conditioner, which typically I can spray that down in there and you know, it's a little bit better than alcohol because alcohol is super drying. And um, I tried not to use alcohol when, you know, when I can get around, around it. This was very, this was very tight. Like it was, it was hurting my fingers just to get it pulled away. And as you can see, it's a very textured mold. Um, it's an owl and basically... My mother loves owls, so I ordered this mold, um, I think, from Amazon. And, uh, no, actually, I got that from Timu. But um, it's an owl, and it's like a pencil holder or something like that. And I just really, really wanted to get this open, get this out. And there I had to stop and I worked with it some more and sprayed some more stuff down in there and, and tried to come back to it. And I tried to, and I'm, my hands, even though they look, you know, like maybe they're not that strong, but, but I'm not a weak person and I just really could not get this mold out. Ultimately, we're going to get to the point where I put it up, put it down. And when I'm off camera, I have to take it to the kitchen sink, that was me saying, done, I'm done, done, okay, um, but I t ended up taking it to the kitchen sink and um, flooding it basically with Dawn dish soap and hot water to soften everything up and get the mold off. Now, I cannot tell you that I will ever use that mold again. Um, not joking, it was so hard to get out now, this is a mold I got off of Etsy, and it is an owl mold, and it's supposed to be a snow owl. Um, what grasped me to buy this mold, and as you can see where it splits, that's where I get that little, you know, and you have to go back in and touch it up, um, trim it off, sand the bottom down. But um, anyhow, the mold on Etsy, and it's listed as a snow owl, is absolutely beautiful like you can just see that it's um, uh, beautiful and this is my fourth attempt to get this mold so that all the feathers come out on it and I think that I pretty much got this one as perfect as I'm going to get it and there I'm just kind of messing with it but I think it's really pretty I used a red mica and red foil. And so I'm just going to show you that I would sand it. But the bottom of that mold turned out to be still a little bit too soft to do the sanding. Now here it is, and I did paint the eyes on. And I'll give these to my mother. 